Hi friends, uh, this is Arun again uh, and this video will have a look at operators in C. Ideally, uh, there is no need for a video for operators except for, for a few special operators. Okay, uh, the operators are nothing new for us. Like we used to learn from our first standard like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, power of, all these operations only. Uh, it starts with the basic operation and there are some special uh, operation which will help you to ease your job which is specific uh, to the programming language it's not only for C C the same thing applies for any programming language uh, like the operators plus plus and minus minus and unary operator binary operator bitwise logical operator and finally we'll touch upon the operator precedence the operator precedence is also a very known topic to us for example uh, uh, school we would have learned like board of uh, bracket power of multiplication addition division subtraction what is the so the same thing is here as well like so when an equation is given when a, a program is written like so if it is a mathematical uh, thing so what is the sequence of uh, evaluation is the uh, main importance when it comes to operator precedence okay so going back to the operators uh, first few operators like you can learn it on your own except percentage operator percentage operator is called the modulo operator which gives a remind, reminder so that is the percentage one the percentage symbol one so which generally is uh, completely different from what we learn in our mathematics for example if uh, if i divide a uh, five by two uh, the result would be one the, which is a reminder okay so that is one special operator which you need to remember in the basic operators and then comes the special operators plus plus and minus minus uh, the plus plus and minus minus are nothing but like it's an increment operator increment and decrement operator they call us so when you use that like whatever value uh, currently the variable holds would be incremented by one if it is a plus plus uh, let's assume a plus plus finally it ends up as like a plus one a equal to a plus one that's how it finally goes on and coming back to the unary and binary operator is <coughs> Unary operator works on a single uh, um, variable, whereas binary works with two, like A plus B, it conjunctions the two things. And the bitwise operator, that's a whole lot topic altogether. We'll look at it in detail later. Okay, let's go back to the code and start uh, playing around with like. So this video is a very short video. So uh, except uh, the main focus into this uh, special operators. If I give uh, B equal to A plus plus, uh, what is mean is like a b equal to a and a plus one so a equal to and a plus one a plus plus means a equal to a plus one okay uh, so finally the b should get uh, if it is 10 ideally it 11 but it will not get that is the catch over there in the increment operator we have two types of increment pre increment and post increment pre increment is the increment which happens first and then the assignment happens Whereas post increment is little tricky. The assignment happens and then the increment happens. For example, this is a post increment operator. A plus plus uh, as the word means post. So plus plus is comes afterwards. So what happens is the B takes the value 10 and then increments the value uh, of A. So which is going to be 11. This is the result of it. So this is the tricky part which you need to understand that. If the same thing is uh, sitting in the before like uh, b equal to plus plus a both the guys will have the same value b will be 11 and a will be also 11 uh, the reason is it has incremented and put the value over there okay but in this case it is incremented sorry it has assigned the value then only it has incremented a has given the value to b which is 10 and then went for uh, uh, 11 which self incrementing thing so this is the one the below is the one which i was explaining so b plus plus b equal to plus plus a so which will yield the same results like b equal to 11 and a equal to 11 so the guys will increment uh, a will first increment then after that the assignment will happen okay so in this case uh, since the last value of a is 11 it goes to 12 and 12 okay so then if we do a plus b it's 12 plus 2 24 that's a normal binary operator uh, first set is a unary operator you can uh, use the binary operator for anything okay and there is a, a shortcut operators as well like uh, b equal to b plus a which is same as b uh, plus a as well okay so it expands to uh, b equal to b plus a so plus equal to operator is nothing but like 
add to the same number and then uh, go ahead with it. Uh, this is kind of like a lazy shortcuts for the uh, a equal to a plus b. The same way you have multiplication operator star a and division as well slash equal to. So which does the same thing. You try out all the problems over there with that. Okay. Uh, take a small value and then uh, uh, do the a star a e b equal to star equal to a like that you can try it out okay so that is the shortcut operators and uh, there is something called ternary operator which uh, will will put as a workout okay which you should do it okay so test out the operators like uh, as i said plus and minus and star okay and there is another special purpose operator called the exclamator which is uh, not of which in your keyboard it will be above one the first line it will be one okay and try out the bitwise operator that is very very important when you are going for an interview most of the questions might fall in bitwise operations and the ternary operator as the conditional operator which i was saying uh, is another thing to uh, add so ternary operator is nothing but shortcut of if condition like uh, so you can put the value and then you can start with that okay so these are something which you have, to, uh, you have to play around with and then learn it. Thank you friends. Bye bye. In the next video we will have a look at scope and the storage.